Tales of the Mystics The Para and the Grocer There was once a grocer who owned a handsome green parrot who sang sublimely and spoke most eloquently. The parrot was not only an ideal companion, but also the perfect guard for the grocer's shop. He kept watch all hours of the day and spoke amiably with the customers, entertaining them and thus increasing the grocer's sales. One day, when the grocer left the shop in the parrot's care, having gone home for lunch, a cat suddenly ran into the shop, chasing the mouse, frightening the bird. As the parrot flew about in his effort to save himself, he knocked a few bottles of almond oil off the shelves, breaking them and covering himself and the shop floor in oil. Not long afterward, the grocer returned and found the place in disarray, the floor slippery with oil, and the parrot perching guiltily in a corner. In the wink of an eye, the grocer lost his temper and hit the bird on the head with all his might. The poor bird, who was already feeling guilty and downtrodden about his clumsiness, could not bear the shame, not to mention the pain from the blow, and he instantly shed all the feathers on his head. Soon after the almond oil incident, the parrot completely stopped speaking and singing. The grocer realised how grave his mistake had been in striking the bird. Not only had he lost his jolly companion, but he had also curtailed his thriving business. Having no one but himself to blame, he now felt dumbfounded that he had single-handedly threatened his very livelihood. I wish I had broken my hand, he lamented. How could I have struck my sweet-voiced bird like that? How could I have behaved so monstrously? The grocer began to give alms to each and every poor dervish who passed by his shop, hoping that by doing good deeds he might be forgiven, and his bird might again start to exercise his mesmerising voice. After three days and nights of remorse and suffering the parrot's silence, the grocer came in to look. A bald dervish walked into the shop, and instantly the parrot began to speak. Did you spill bottles of almond oil, too? The handful of customers in the shop were amused and smiled at the parrot, who had innocently thought that the bald man had suffered the same fate as himself. Darling little parrot, said one of the customers compassionately. Never equate one action with another. One must never compare oneself to others, even though they may appear to be the same on the surface. Truly nothing is as it seems. This story was read from the Book of Rumi, 105 stories and fables that illumine, delight and inform. Translated by Mariam Murphy.